Um, so, well, some of the specific barriers uh, that women face are uh, things like um, vul greater vulner vulnerability um, because they are in, in as refugees or asylum seekers or um, victims of trafficking, uh, they encounter specific problems like um, sexual um, abuse um, and uh, you know different kinds of torture than, than possibly men face. So that's one. Um, more widely, um, women who are not only um, in that sense vulnerable as in their migrant um, status, but women who come as family migrants or to work, they also face lots of barriers. Um, such as um, access to healthcare based on uh, issues around language, um, problems in travel, a lot of them live in deprived areas where there's no good um, transport systems, um, family responsibilities and family restrictions because um, there are um, again issues around um, um, sort of men who try to control their access to healthcare or, or so that they don't get much um, co um, uh, uh, sort of independence and confidentiality is an issue, um, so that's one barrier. Um, there are also barriers for women migrants who are uh, as workers and as labor migrants because um, the migrant labor force is quite polarized. There are those at the top end and at the bottom end, but women, a lot of women do tend to be at the bottom end um, in service jobs which are, have um, quite exploitative working conditions and there are issues around access to um, Antenatal care, for instance, some employers do not encourage them to take it, or the women fear that they won't be allowed to take it. But some pregnant women we found in our research um, don't say that they're pregnant in case they lose their jobs, although that's against the laws of the country. Um, so, so some of the main barriers are those. Uh, health conditions that they have may not be recognized. Um, they, um, uh, so say pregnant women, if they not, don't get access to antenatal care, that affects the, there are any problems with the, with the baby, problems in their own um, morbidity, those are not spotted. Um, so uh, so the, the, the outcomes are, could be quite bad. So for instance, um, uh, women migrants, uh, in the, the, the fairly recent confidential inquiry into maternal deaths, women migrants uh, were, uh, the, the more um, women migrants uh, died than, than they deserved, the, 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 you know, um, the national population and and because of that um, you know so, so the outcomes could be quite bad in that sense so that's one of the um, issues I, th I think most most often mental health problems are not recognized uh, which would lead to more problems um, infectious diseases some women do not um, see sometimes family control affects the way they um, access health care on, on, on certain types of diseases um, I think there's a lot of good practice in, um, at local level. Um, some boroughs in London, such as Newham, uh, Birmingham, I have found there are some uh, um, uh, teams which work around these issues. Um, so I think at local level, is there are, there are uh, uh, doctors of the world that they do um, uh, that kind of um, service. Um, so yes, there are, but they are, I, I'm not sure that they've all been brought together or there's enough um, information about what is available and certainly um, for women concerned, they, they may not get enough information of you know, who's available for them uh, and what kind of, um, you know, what can they can do if they refuse um, access to GPs. Uh, but I think there is a lot of good practice around both statutory and voluntary sectors.